Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to the channel. Welcome. So there's my husband Graham. And as promised, we're gonna do a Q&A tonight. We had so many questions. I honestly don't think we can do it all no. in one sitting. So we're gonna have to break this down. So I'm gonna go over some of the questions so not to worry. If your question is not answered tonight, it will be answered on another video in another few days. We are sitting by the lake in our golf cart and this is the lake where I work. So we just decided we were hoping it would be quiet here, but we've got traffic going back and forth. So hopefully you can hear us and it's okay. So we're gonna jump right into the questions. I'm gonna pick them at random. There's no rhyme or reason. We're just gonna pick probably about 10 questions yeah. We'll answer those, and like I said, we'll come back. We'll visit you again, not to worry. Graham, I will say from the get-go, is not feeling 100%. So if I take over the questions and he doesn't answer a whole lot, he is here because, as promised, it's a Q&A with Graham and Lynn, but he's not feeling up to par. If you do not know, my husband has epilepsy. It's been a long day. We visited friends all day. We had car trouble on the way home. It's just been one of those days. So he's been through it. So bear with us. If he doesn't jump in too much, you'll know why, but he'll definitely be better on the next one, right? You got it. Okay, so question number one. What is our favorite dessert? So I did ask Gavin, because the person that I asked wanted to know the three of us. Gavin says, I don't eat dessert. And he really doesn't. He's not a sweet eater. We'll go out for ice cream, right? Yes. He never wants ice cream. But I think if push came to shove, he would eat the, what do they call them? The little Debbie, the oatmeal cakes you can get. Yes. And then they have the, the they're like a peanut butter bar, the yes. chocolate and peanut mm -hmm. butter, like a wafer. Not Nutty Buddies, but something like that. The little Debbie cakes, like the oatmeals and those. If we get those in the house, he'll munch on those, but he's really not a sweet eater. Now, when it comes to me, my hands down favorite, if you said you can only have one dessert the rest of your life, it would be ice cream cake. I love, I love ice cream cake, yeah. right? Yes, After is. that, I told my husband I'm a cheap date. I'm cheap. Because I love tasty cakes, tandy cakes, butterscotch crumpets, devil dogs, Drake's cakes. I'm sure something in that um, You're easy to please. I'm easy to please, but I like junk food. Like I like, if you put like the most luscious, delicious dessert out, and there was a package of Drake cupcakes or Hostess, I'd go for that. Yeah, I would. Right. And what is your favorite dessert? Well, as as we were discussing uh, earlier, I think it really depends on uh, the day uh, and how things are going. You just like dessert. I, 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 yeah, I, I You're have not my, fussy. I'm really not fussy, so sometimes like when we go out, you know, I might have uh, You're easy to please. I'm very easy to please. I'm a cheap date. I like tasty cakes and devil dogs. He's easy to please. He'll eat anything. We're good company. Okay, next question. What do I do for the company that I work for? I guess the easiest way to explain it is I am an events and conference planner. So I take reservations, I work in customer service, I'm the one that has to keep you happy, I'm the one that is the problem solver, um, I do a podcast with my job, I do speaking engagements with my job, um, I do a lot of interaction with guests, I plan your meeting room, I set up the and organize all the things that you need when you come, that's pretty much what I do. Okay, how many siblings do we have? How many do you have? Well, I have uh, four brothers and a sister. And where's your sister? Uh, in heaven. Yes. My she, sister, was, she was the eldest. She was the eldest. She died at 41. And there are five boys in the family. Five boys in the family and I'm in the middle. You got middle child syndrome? I have middle child syndrome, <laughs> that's right. And I have two sisters, so there's three girls. Okay, what is my favorite food or meal? So my favorite food, hands down, no doubt, is pizza. I could have pizza tonight and then two nights from now say to my husband, do you feel like getting pizza? So in New Jersey, I don't know, I have not 
we've not really gotten pizza outside of New Jersey. Not really. Like we've just not really had, I think we had Chicago pizza, but, um, or Chicago style pizza. I hear there's a Michigan style pizza. We have New Jersey pizza. We have relatives that lived here, move away and come back and say, I need Jersey pizza. I don't know what the difference is. I just know what we have. And every pizza parlor around here has a different flavor. Their sauce is a little different and they're tangy or this. So yeah, there's, there's pizza to be had in New Jersey. And then of course there's Pizza Hut, which I enjoy once in a while. And I love Little Caesars. We don't have one near us anymore. But once in a while we'll find one of those. And then there's CeCe's Pizza. We don't have one of those near us anymore, but not too far. So pizza. And if a meal, I would say winter, spring, summer, fall. My favorite meal is a barbecue. I love barbecued burgers, barbecued hot dogs, potato salad, macaroni salad, baked beans, watermelon. I like that. I love a barbecue. They didn't ask what your favorite meal is, but I'll ask you, what's your favorite meal? Oh, it's always breakfast. Breakfast, he does. Breakfast for lunch, breakfast for dinner, and breakfast for breakfast, and breakfast for a snack. I'm you not, like breakfast. Yeah, I'm a breakfast person. This morning he woke up and he wanted, um, what do you call them? What was the oatmeal you wanted? I forget. Oatmeal. No, the other kind of oatmeal. There's a certain kind you asked how to make. It's the English, the uh, steel cut oats, I think it is, oatmeal. So I've got to go home and make oatmeal tonight so we have it in the refrigerator for the next couple days. Okay, what's another one I can do? What is something I will not eat? Easy. Tell me what I won't eat. Eggs. Eggs. I don't like eggs. I don't like them. Um, and they wanted to know why I don't like eggs. So when I was a kid, if my mother's listening to this, she's going to tell you another story, but I'll tell you my version. We had, we ate simple when I was a kid and we, in the morning I would wait for the school bus and there was a little heater on the wall. And I can remember this because I was traumatized. Okay. So there was a heater and I would put my legs there because I was always cold and we'd have soft boiled eggs, the kind that like run in a mug and I'd have half a slice of toast to dip and a half a cup of tea. That was breakfast all the time. I feel like I ate it 365 days a year and I'm sure I didn't, but that's what I remember, runny eggs. And then one day I was talking to my dad and I didn't like them, I didn't like them. And then he was telling me, there is not two kinds of eggs, there's only one kind of eggs. And I thought there was an egg you eat, and then there was an egg that turned into a chicken. Long story short, my dad didn't creatively explain these things to me. He's, he was black and white, and this is the way it is, and that's it. And I was like, what? I could never eat an egg again. Then I got into like maybe 12 years old, and I tried eating fried egg sandwiches. Once in a while, egg salad. I got into it maybe for a year and that was about it. I really, I just, I can't do it guys. I can't do it. And another thing I can't do is raisins. Like chocolate covered raisins. You want to give me raisinets? I love raisinets. It's probably your favorite candy. Oh yeah, that's right. But I can't eat raisins like in a muffin or in an oatmeal or if you bake with raisins. And why? Because when they plump up and you chew them, they squeak. Yes, you heard it here on At Home with Lynn Wilson. Raisins squeak when you chew them. You love that. That's right. Okay, what else can we talk about? Okay, so we're gonna end on this question. You ready? Go ahead. Last one. Last one. Jump in when you want. You got it. How do we decide to adopt? So back in the day when we were dating, I, first of all, I never wanted to get married and I never wanted kids. God changed my heart on that because I had the best man ever living to be my husband. And then when I fell in love with him, I wanted children. I just, that was just it. God changed my heart. We had so, discussed it. We did discuss it. And, and Grant, I think we were in agreement. We wanted a couple kids. Yeah, we didn't know what we wanted. We were, what do you know? Your kids when you get married, right? But we decided sort of in a general sort of way. I, I kind of put it out there and he was a little, but you know, it wasn't, we weren't having them that day. So um, we talked about having three kids. Right. You were comfortable with three. I right. think that was what you were comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And I said, but I'd like the fourth one to be adopted. I wanted somebody who needed a home, that we could provide a home. And I just wanted that unique experience. I just had it on my heart that somebody needed our home.
-hmm. He didn't want anything to do with adoption, right? Right. And I wasn't upset about it. It was one of those things that if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. Fast forward, we lost a few children through miscarriage. We had our biological son. We still longed for a child. And adoption sort of came up in conversation with friends. They were looking into adoption. We had another couple of people that we knew that were in the process of adoption. We had a circle of friends that were all interested in adopting. And um, yeah, so it, it became real to us. I think it was something we had talked about. Mm -hmm. um, but then all of a sudden the reality came in that you know, we could do this. This is an option. So long story short, God provided a unique and special way and we adopted our son. And um, no doubt he's ours. Like, oh yeah, he may not resemble us and we may not resemble him. But outside of that, there is no way in the world you would ever tell me that that kid was not destined to be our son. Most definitely. He's our baby. You know, it, it is... Uh almost ironic the, the the similarities of him and his brother they're identical yeah of personalities and, and likes and dislikes and etc so there's a bunch of questions um that pertain to graham and africa there's a bunch of questions that pertain to just me personally there's a bunch of questions about us as a couple and there's a, a number of questions that are um, sort of some advice, counsel type questions. I don't know how else to word that and time management things and things like that. So I think we will kind of jump jumble those together and do a Q&A on certain topics and then answer the rest of those questions. So tonight you got some general questions, but stay tuned. There is more to come. Part two. Part two, three, four.